conditioned into you by the news, the television, Hollywood movies, and above all, soap operas. You think you are free when in fact you are a registered slave of the British crown. You live, you're born, you go to school, you obey your teacher, you get a job, you obey your manager, you get a pension, and then you die. Welcome to Her Majesty's Open Prison, especially you in the hoodie there. Please look up to your nearest CCTV camera. You're not going to start the riot, are you, because you're wearing a hoodie? You know, the only people allowed to pillage and steal and blow up buildings are the government. And the sooner you realize that, the better. What are you campaigning about? We're campaigning for more riots in London and Manchester. We need to bring an end to this system. We need to get the powerful politicians, bankers, and religious leaders out of power. And we need to usher in a beautiful new age of zero tyranny, zero surveillance, a happy and friendly police that don't kill people. I know I can dream. I can dream. But I'm not the only one. I'm not the only dreamer. Oh, he's uh, my, um, my official... Uh, yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't get too paranoid even smoking today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most powerful nations on earth, the center of enlightenment and libertarian thinking, and we solve our problems by selling weapons and killing brown people. Hooray! United Kingdom of the free. When we see a skirmish in Libya or Syria, Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, let's just bomb the hell out of them. Why should we try and solve our problems? Why should we listen to those Buddhists, or the Christians, or the, the Muslims, or whoever? No. We listen to banking, to big business, to weapons manufacturers, and we solve our problems as good imperialist British people by killing people. It's the best way. There's no irony in using terrorism to fight terrorism. Let's kill people to stop them killing. It's hilarious. A legend. But no, ladies and gentlemen, it's very important that you interest yourselves in One Direction, fake tans, and EastEnders. You have no opinion. You are a meaningless number on a government computer screen. You are just a fat and ugly blood bag whose job is to go into the Arndale Center and buy lots of plastic shit that you don't need. Ignore politics. Politics has been taken over by greedy pigs at the trough. Banking bailouts. The MP expenses scandal. And we just carry on shopping, don't we? Because politicians are meant to steal. Military people are meant to kill people. Everything is fine. Hello. Shall I pose for you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all around you there are strange people taking video of everything you do. In fact, in this city you will be filmed by over 200 cameras as you walk around. I don't mean these people. I mean the police. In Her Majesty's open in Manchester, you must always wear your ID card and look up to the nearest camera. Where is it? There it is there. Make sure it can recognize your face. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, anyone who speaks out nowadays is either mentally ill or a terrorist. I am happy to announce that I am both. I am a guardian reading, sandal wearing, libertarian terrorist because I happen to think that we shouldn't solve our problems by bombing people. Hooray! Britain, the 51st state of America. Hooray! Yay. Hillary Clinton says jump and we say how high. Yay, we'll extradite those uh, Guantanamo Bay people. Hooray! I hope there's a revolution coming. To actually repoliticize the British public. To actually bring back the word politics. To actually mean politics. And not mean a whole bunch of fat, corrupt, ugly people on, on Sky News lying and stealing and being greedy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, revolution is coming when enough of you realize that the money in your pocket is fake. Just like the economy is fake anyway. You think recessions are real? You think the stock market crashing is real? You think this isn't all organized at the highest levels to just keep the world turning? Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I've spoken to David Cameron this morning. He says that he shares in your pain. 
beginning of the double dip recession. <laughs> he has had to shut down four of his 18 palaces. He understands your pain. The man who is a distant cousin of the Queen, he knows what it's like to be poor. He knows what it's like to wake up at 5 a.m. every day and work down in the docks for a pittance to support your family. David Cameron loves you. Your government loves you. The Queen, the Queen who came to visit Salford Keys the other day, she loves the common people. As long as you put on that nice uniform, swear allegiance to her, and go and kill brown people on her behalf. Prince Harry loves you. Prince Harry is a massive man who donates money to charity. Oh, a 2,000 year old ridiculous institution like the monarchy and our newspapers call them. Our Queen, our Kate, our Will, our Harry. Yeah, because they belong to you. Actually, no, sorry, it says on your passport you are a subject of the Queen. You belong to the Queen. Hilarious! And you thought you were free! You thought your dress sense, your, your opinions, your conditioning, your schooling, you thought it was all your own choice. When in fact you're just all small guinea pigs in a massive mind control experiment.